Hi, this is Jackie from Learning Resources at Bucks County Community College. If you are interested in using VoiceThread with your class, there are three different tools you can use to make VoiceThread accessible to your students. You must use VoiceThread through a Canvas course space. So if you do not already have a Canvas course space set up for your class, go to My Bucks, click on Bucks AC, Click on Virtual Campus Faculty Support and then click Make a Request. I'm going to focus today specifically on the VoiceThread tools. To add the VoiceThread tools to your modules, click on the cogwheel, click Add Content, select from the drop down menu External Tool. And then scroll down and click one of the three VoiceThread options and then click Add Item. You might be asking, how do I know which out of those three to use in my course space? Well, each of those three options gives you different capabilities and you might want to make them available to just yourself when you're first building your course or you might want to make it available to your students at a certain point in time and then take it away. And I'll explain why. The first option is simply called VoiceThread. This option will take you to the entire gallery of VoiceThreads. So this is any VoiceThread that's created f by a Bucks person and they've shared it with the Bucks County Community College community. This might be helpful for you when you try to find a voice thread to share with your class. It might be confusing for your students because there's an overwhelming number of voice threads that might not be relevant to them uh, through this tool. To share something with your class, you'll see your courses listed on the left hand side. Once you find that voice thread that you'd like to share, click drag and drop over the course title. That will automatically share a voice thread with your class. So now you might wonder, how would your students get to a voice thread that you shared with the class? Well, there's a tool for that. We're going to go back to modules. Now that I use the voice thread tool to find a voice thread to share with my class, I am going to remove that tool from my module list. That way when my, if my students will not come across it and be confused. The next tool that I'm going to show you is the vo VoiceThread course view. When I click the link for this tool, I am taken to all VoiceThreads shared for this specific course. This is what I recommend using in your class to not only provide students with access to voice threads that you created, but to also give them a space in which they can create voice threads. So you can do the whole creation process by clicking this tiny little link create in the bottom right hand corner. That will take either you or your students to the voice thread tool um, that walks you through the process of creating a voice thread, including sharing it with the class. And there's instructions on that process at this website. The last voice thread tool is VoiceThread My Voice. This is a, one that you really don't need to use at all. All this one does is take you specifically to the My Voice section of VoiceThread. So it would be a, a way to get to all of the VoiceThreads that you've created. But like I mentioned earlier, you can also get to that through the VoiceThread My Course tool. If you would like to chat with me, about VoiceThread and discuss maybe some ideas on how to use it within your course, feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email.